Hello everyone, um, hello from Amplabikes here in Berlin. Um, it's Benny and Tuli behind the camera. Yeah, we're happy to have you here and uh, today we're going to show you a little bit about our bikes. So we're going to do a digital test ride with you. Um, I don't know if you need a little bit of time, if somebody needs to grab a coffee or a beer. So we have a little bit of time till everyone is online and watching. So yeah, what, what we're going to do today, uh, we're going to show you our bikes. And uh, of course, due to um, the circumstances with Corona, unfortunately, um, we're not on fares. We can't show the bikes right now on fares to people. We always want people to be on our bikes and test them. Um, that's one thing I always on fares. If people ride our bikes, they're always happy, 99%. So yeah, um, I hope everyone is healthy, stay safe, stay at home if possible. If really not, go outside, ride your bike, keep a distance to other people. And um, yeah, life goes on. And uh, I hope the fairs, in the end of the year, so the fairs are canceled till June. Our ambassador program where you can test our bikes in all big cities uh, is suspended too. Um, thanks anyway to all our ambassadors, they're doing a great job and um, soon we will rock that thing again. And um, yeah, so that's why we're here today with you guys. We want to show you our bikes. Um, about Ampla, something about Ampla? Yeah, talk about Ampla, Benny. <laughs> um, so Ampla, it's a very cool company, first of all. Um, it's a young company, we're not a startup anymore, very important. Um, founded in Tallinn in Estonia, uh, TV, uh, the Y, the Y, and, uh, and uh, yeah, so it's founded in 2016, and since 2018 we're in Berlin with our showroom here, um, unfortunately closed now too. And um, yeah, we're producing light, beautiful e bikes. So this is the point we have. Maybe we start now here. We have three models. Um, to the very left, it's the Curl. It's our lightweight. It's a very agile and fast uh, commuting bike. Um, we have it in two versions. So we have it with a we have it with a belt drive from Gate. Um, this bike is super light. It weighs only 13.5 kilo. Um, it only comes in black. We like it. It looks cool. And then below, we have the same version um, with the 10 gear Shimano Deor shifter. So uh, it always depends on your personal preferences. Um, a lot of people really like the belt, of course the belt is like easy maintenance um, and it, it's a cool, enjoyable um, drive feeling because you don't have to think about uh, switching gears. But of course if you say like you want to ride this bike um, as a normal bike without support, uh, I would probably recommend to have like 10 gears, it's always fun to shift gears and uh, if you go uphill it's, it's nicer. Um, yeah, in general about our bikes, maybe, so we have an integrated battery, so the battery is actually here, then we have a torque sensor and we have the, our own Ampla um, engine in the back. It has 250 watts um, and it can go up to 480 watts in peaks. Uh, yeah. And we call it a dynamic drive system, very important. So we have a torque sensor, it is here, and the torque sensor measures how hard you pedal in the, in the pedal, um, and um, then the motor gives you the support. So this means when it's flat, and you just like kind of like rolling and pedaling soft, uh, the engine only gives you soft, soft support. People always ask what they have to do when they go uphill, if they have to change. Um, the mode, like from mode 7 to 10, uh, with our bikes you don't have to do it. If it goes uphill and you pedal harder, the engine just gives you, the motor gives you more support. Very, very easy. All our bikes are fully roadworthy, of course. 
We have the really cool light skin uh, lights in the back. You can see it here. Maybe I'll show you. Um, so the top two ones are sticking out. Very important, so you can you can be seen from the side. Uh, and in the front we have a Bush and Müller light with 50 looks, so it's a very good, um, good light, bright light. Um, yeah, everywhere we use the Shimano VR 10 here, um, and yeah, I think it's a really good uh, group set. Uh, of course, we have everywhere comes it comes with the Shimano VR. We have the hydraulic uh, disc brakes. Um, yeah, these are the two colors, very simple. So the Stella we have in red and in blue. And the Stout you see over here we have in green and in uh, gray. Gray is a really cool color, it's like with a lot of metallic. So, um, yeah. In general, um, the stout is a little bit more heavy, it's uh, around 17.2 kilos, the same with the Stella. Um, it's, it, got wider, it got wider tires, uh, more stability, um, yeah, we have a Pelia rack, um, we have a different fork that makes a lot of the, the difference. It's just a little bit more um, robust. Whatever. So, yeah, that's, uh, it's very important, it's an upright, more upright, more comfortable seating uh, position. We, and We got a question uh, from Get, Get, Get It. Why don't you include a bicycle stand? Oh, it is here. Yeah. So we have a, we have a side uh, stand here. Um, on the curb we don't do it. Just out of reasons um, for the weight. So we want to have the curb as light as possible, so we don't have a, a kickstand. But of course, you can lay on if you want. The same with the curb, very important. Um, if you want a pannier rack, you can you can put it later on. So yeah, the, the difference for sure, like this is a very light, agile, fast bike. Um, and this one is more, I would say, if you want to go on a gravel road, for example, with the wider tires, it's more comfortable, you can definitely do like longer tours with this. But in general, the, the drive system is everywhere the same. We have the same battery, it's an LG lithium ion um, battery with 336 uh, watt hours and, uh, and the same engine with the same power. So they all support uh, 25 kilometers. Very important with the engine or general with our bikes. If you don't want to have um, the ride supported, if you turn it off, it drives like a really like a normal bicycle. So I'll show you here. Um, I turn it off and I show you it's like a new, it's a normal free up. So it means like um, there's no resistance, nothing. So all our bikes. You can just ride normally. People always ask when they do a longer tour, what I'm going to do when the battery is uh, empty. We tell them just uh, keep on riding. It's a normal bike and you can just ride it as a normal bike. Yeah, and I mean it looks just like a normal bike, super beautiful with the inter integrated battery. But there we are with the next thing. is like the integrated battery, of course you have to charge the bike from the outside. So this is how you charge it. Um, and then, um, yeah, charging time when it's completely empty to com completely full, two and a half hours. And um, the battery, of course, if the battery should be uh, broken or in a couple of years, five years, whatever you want to change and have like a more powerful battery, and um, of course we can change it. Like it doesn't take long for our mechanics uh, to change the the battery. So, but for you it's a closed system and we charge from the outside. Here you can actually see too, um, this light always shows um, the capacity um, of the battery, how full the battery is. So right now it's like yellow, uh, I can show you like when you turn it on, like this is green when it's really full 
and now it shows you, okay, it's yellow, so it's like half full, and then later on it turns red. So you can always see from the, people always ask, like, how can I see how full the battery is? Of course, this spike is made a little bit like you should connect it with your, um, with your phone over the app, and then you can do all the settings and you can see everything. And, uh, but for the older generation, it's always very important. You don't need a phone for it. If you don't want to use a phone, just go push the button and it's turned on. Um, yeah, we have more questions? Maybe? No questions? Okay, we had, we had good questions before, actually. Maybe, um, maybe I can point them out again. Did I forget anything else to read? No, okay. No! Um, so we had the question, oh yeah, always with the uh, temperature. So the battery, what happens with the battery when it's like cold? Of course it's like with a normal mobile phone. Uh, of course you don't, the battery has not the capacity in that moment when it's cold. But um, these new LG lithium ion accus, it doesn't matter. Uh, as soon as it's warmer again, it has like the full capacity. So we got a question in from Gekke Gerrit again, and he's asking, is it possible to add a ring lock to the Kurt? To what? A ring lock to a Kurt. <laughs> yes. Yeah, sure. Yeah, you can like, that's a very important thing, like, everything on our bikes, all these are like standard um, measurements. So if you want to change the, um, the handlebar, if you want to change the stem, if you want to change anything, it's, it's always possible. Somebody asked before if it's possible to change the saddle. Of course you can change the saddle. You shouldn't um, change the seat post because we have the lights here integrated. But of course you can change any saddle. You can use like a comfortable, more comfortable or more light saddle. So this is, this is all possible. Can we have like more, more good questions? Oh yeah, how long did I say that? How long it takes to charge the... But we got a, we got a new question from uh, Miles Boucher. Can we lock the power on off from the bike? I mean, if the bike is on the street, then I don't want that someone put it on. Like someone turns on the bike. Um, not actually like, uh, if somebody want to turn it on, like you can turn it on here and, and off. Like that's actually, um, yeah. So no. So no. So no. So, yeah. Um, let me check, I have like some other. Okay, um, with the belt. The belt we only have on the curve. A lot of people always ask for the uh, Stout and the um, Stella, but we should ask our CEOs if they want to change it. I, I can't say. Like for now, we have another 10 year shifter, um, and the, the um, curve we have as a belt. But it's always because like this is a single speed, so we don't have like we can't combine like a. Um, a roll off like a different gears, um, so it's always when it comes with the belt, it's always a single speed. And if you want to have more gears, um, we have like a normal Shimano shifter. Here we go for what else we have new colors for next year. Nobody knows, maybe one or two people know, but that's it. I don't know, we don't know. Um, oh yeah, very important, uh, repair um, on the bike. So in Germany now, after a couple of years of direct sales, we do direct sales, did I say that, did I mention that? Maybe the people know. Um, so there is a way we open up service points in Germany, in big cities. So in the future, or now already, I think it started a couple of weeks ago, you can go to the service station. It's always when it comes to the... Um, so the, either the battery, uh, the torque sensor or the motor, um, you can go to these service stations. But of course, you can always, like we did it the last years, if you have a problem with that, call our customer service and um, we help you. We take the bike back or we repair it, or you go to the service station. We got another question. Philippe is asking, we speak about larger tires and Stout and Stella. Uh, how wide are the tires? And are they reinforced or uh, anti-puncture tires? Yeah, they are anti-puncture tires. Um, we have on the Stout and Stella 47 millimeters. Um, it's uh, Continental um, tires, uh, 40, 42, sorry. 
Um, and on the curl you have 32 and uh, it's um, the four seasons from Continental. So very, very good tires. Um, there's no reason why uh, changing the tires. So it's in general the bikes have like high specs. I would say like with the Shimano and with the tires, it's all uh, very good specs. More questions? Or I have? Um... Oh yeah, very important. We haven't talked about frame sizes. So. This bike comes in three different frame sizes, S, M and L. Um, small is the 50 cm classic frame size, um, then it's uh, 54 is the medium, and the large is the 58. So you can choose between three uh, frame sizes, very important, I mean, you need the right frame size to feel comfortable on the bike. These two, okay, here we have like the Stella. Um, the Stella comes in small or in medium. The small is a 48 um, and the medium is a 55. And the Stout comes in two frame sizes too. Um, it's a medium in 55 or in 59 the large. So this is actually the biggest frame size we have. Um, so if you're a tall guy, um, so 59 is the biggest frame size we have so far. Um, that. More questions? Do you have any? Wait, uh... Yeah, when we're shipping. So we ship who, who's asking these questions? Who are you replying to? Um, so shipping um, ask, uh, it doesn't say. Sorry. What? Like shipping, but in general, shipping is always a question they ask. So it's in, it's free shipping, of course, and it's Europe wide, and it's Switzerland, of course, and Norway. So when you're when you're living somewhere in these countries, no boys, we send you a bike. Um, service center, we talked about. Yeah, how long does the battery um, last? So we say seven hundred. Uh, load, loading, what do you call it? Ladezyklen? Sorry, my, pardon my, my <laughs> English. So it's around 700 loading cycles. 30, what? 700 loading cycles. Yeah, so it's around 35,000 um, kilometers. Philippe and is asking uh, if the battery needs to be changed, can you change it? Yeah, of course. Like, um, but don't do it yourself. I show you here, yeah. Um, so, our mechanics, it's an easy uh, thing, so you can take out the bottom bracket, they take the crank set out, you can open it up and um, then first the torque sensor comes out and the battery, and yeah, if the battery is defect, broken, whatever, it's no problem, we can, we can change. Leonard is asking, if there is no service partner in his city, what can he do if his bike has a problem? Yeah, as I said, if it's if it's the battery, if it's the motor or the torque sensor, just give us a call, call our customer service. Hello to Tim and Helen. And um, call our customer service, they will help you and we will get the bike back. Either it comes um, to Berlin, to, to Tallinn or to any of our service stations, we will repair the bike and send it back to you. It's no problem. But of course. Um, everything else, like people always ask, everything else it's like normal Shimano parts. So if your brakes are making funny noises or small things like that, or your shifting is not um, accurate anymore, you can go to any um, bike shop. Everyone is like trained on Shimano. Uh, now Keke is asking, what would a battery change cost? Oh, that's a good question. That's a very good question. I think he has to ask for our customer service. I don't want to say anything wrong for the life here. <laughs> um, no, like just a um, short email to our customer service and then ask. Um, I, I'm not sure. More questions? Okay. Um, what is the most asked question at bike fairs? Yes. Where's the battery? Yeah. Where's the battery? So sometimes 
When we're standing for two days on fairs and we heard this question maybe like 500 times, we make jokes. But I tell you now, honestly, what the battery is. The battery is in the down tube. <laughs> so yeah, it's uh, very simple. It's like a big kind of thing, sausage, and it's in there. And um, yeah, it's from LG. It's a very good battery. And um, as I said, if it's broken, if something should be wrong, or well, like maybe in five years more you get like a better battery, which is lighter, which has more power, we can change it, no problem. Um, Leonard asked if it's easy to ship the bike. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So uh, we could show like the boxes in the back, but we don't do this now. So yeah, the bike comes uh, very simple. We can do it quickly. No, it's fine. It's fine. So it's, it's very, it's like a normal bike box. Um, ours is a little bit more cooler because like you can lift the box actually up and then the bike just stands. So you don't have to get like the, the, the bike heavy uh, like out of it. Um, so the handlebars just turn to the side and the pedals are off. So all you have to do is lift up the, the box. Um, it's a few screws, you get like a little bit of a um, tool. Um, you fix this one, you fix this one and the bike is ready to go. So when you order a bike, um, our mechanics in Tallinn, they tested it. They made everything accurate, so it's ready, ready to run. More questions? Are we over? Yeah, I think um, from my side. <laughs> uh, oh, we got some questions, Benny. More questions. Not, you're not, not, not over yet. So, is it okay to wash a bike with pressure washer? Press, press, <laughs> pressure washer. Uh, okay, this, this is actually it would be a good question for our mechanics. So I know um, you should be always careful, of course, um, with these parts. Um, if you use like a high pressure or something, because it's not good for the chain, it's not good for the cassette. Um, and of course, you always have to watch out for the. Oh, my English is not good as well. So uh, for the Dichtung. But in general, of course, like everything else, um, you can of course wash the, uh, wash the bike with uh, high pressure. But with these parts, you should be careful, you should definitely like, use just a... Uh, yeah. So Mike has two more questions. Um, how is the rear wheel attached to the frame? Is it easy to change a tube on the road? Very good question. It's as simple as a normal bike. The only thing you have to change is like, where right, can you see the grip on that side? So we have like here this um, stecker, this thing. So all you have to do, you undo this one, and then um, it's a 12 meter, millimeter um, uh, axle. So it's, it's just normal tools. You take it out as a normal bike and you can change, it's no problem. The only thing is like this connection for the back wheel, for the, for the motor. And last question from Mike. Does the drivetrain wear a lot more faster than with a regular bike? Does the drivetrain wear a lot more faster than with a regular bike? Oh, no, no. Like, the, the thing is, that's why we always say we prefer the engine in the back. Because people always ask us where is like, the difference when you have the engine, the, the middle, middle engine, for example. The power doesn't go over the, uh, the chain. So it means the, the power comes directly from the engine to the wheel, so it doesn't uh, wear out more than any other bike. That's it for my questions. Yeah, I think, um, yeah, really cool. I'm happy you watched, and I hope we, we could like, show you everything on our bikes. And yeah, stay healthy, stay safe, ride your bike, and um, be happy. Ciao. Thank you.